breaking tonight in a Kelly file exclusive new questions about whether some top Democrats were involved in IRS targeting of conservative groups and whether the agency is now trying to keep that from coming out. Good evening, everybody. I'm Martha McCallum in tonight for Megyn Kelly. We have been reporting over the last 48 hours how a court order forced the release of brand new emails in the IRS scandal. Emails that show IRS officials in Washington were discussing the effort to target conservatives, political groups in the run up to the 2012 election and emails that show one top Democrat, Senator Carl Levin, encouraged the agency to go out there and challenge those groups by the IRS. Now, Attention turns to roughly a dozen additional Democrats now, including Senator Harry Reid, Chuck Schumer, and Mary Landrieu, and others. It's now been almost a year exactly since Republicans demanded the IRS produce the emails between those lawmakers and the IRS. And now we're hearing that the IRS still has not released those documents. Joining me now, Katie Pavlik, who broke this story. She's a Fox News contributor and news editor for townhall.com. So you're suggesting, Katie, that through about six different moves, they've basically stonewalled releasing any information on these other top senators, right? Right. So last year in May of 2013, shortly after Lois Lerner admitted and apologized for the targeting of Tea Party groups, the NRSC, which is uh, a group in, on Capitol Hill full of Republicans, asked the IRS to produce information through a FOIA request between showing the correspondence, if there was correspondence, between 13 Democrats on the, on the Hill, and this includes Senator Harry Reid, Senator Chuck Schumer, and a whole host of other Democrats, the correspondence between them and top officials at the IRS, including former Commissioner Douglas Shulman, Stephen Miller, and Lois Lerner herself. What's taking so long? It's taking so long. So throughout the, throughout the course of the, the last year, we've seen the IRS send these letters to the NRSC over and over again, six of them, with the same exact language saying, we need more time to fulfill your request. Now, the first initial uh, request that they asked for more time, the IRS has 20 days to respond to a FOIA request by law. Then They then have a 10-day period to extend it to. Mm -hmm. And then they've also recognized that after that 10-day period, they can sue uh, the group asking for that information. So they keep sending these letters over and over again saying we still need time to compile this information, but they don't deny that the information exists, which suggests they're running out the clock to try and circle the wagons around Democrats because that correspondence exists. I mean, you go back to Lois Lerner, who took the fifth, and, and all of that put together suggests that there is something that they don't want to release. I mean, if they had gone through everything and they found nothing, then you would think they would be more than happy to say, we went through everything. We haven't seen any correspondence between any of these senators that you've mentioned and the IRS pushing them to, to investigate or give these groups a hard time. Right. And the specific language in these letters, the entire six of them that keep getting sent to the NRSC in response to this request, they specifically say we need more time to compile and send and go through this information. And on the election side, we know that the IRS was working with Democrats during an election year to try and target these groups. But going forward, Mary Landrieu is on this list of correspondence because people had a suspicion that there were lots of Democrats uh, corresponding with the IRS, not to mention you had Harry Reid on the Senate floor calling out Tea Party groups saying that they needed to be targeted. We had Chuck Schumer saying this in multiple public speeches. And so the NRSC wanted to know what information there could have been between the IRS and those Democrats, and they're getting stonewalled and that information is not coming forward. And they still don't know. Judicial Watch got them uh, through suing. So we'll see what happens right. next. Katie, thank you very much. Thank you, Martha. So the court order that produced those new emails this week came after a Freedom of Information lawsuit, as I just mentioned, from the watchdog group Judicial Watch. The news about Senator Levin's emails and the role of the IRS headquarters in Washington got picked up by a couple dozen newspapers, blogs, and a few newscasts like this one. But our next guest says that it has been so far ignored by a broad part of the mainstream media. Brent Pozell is president of the Media Research Center. Uh, Brent, good evening. Good to have you with us. So. Big question. Hey, why, why didn't they cover it? Well, let, let's put the news in the proper perspective. The, the developments in the last week, the first thing that we know is that the documents that we're talking about were supposed to be delivered by the administration. Mm -hmm. It took Judicial Watch and a Freedom of Information Act to do what the, what the government, what the, what the Obama administration sim sim simply will not do, just like with Benghazi. The second thing that we learned was that this story about the, the IRS targeting coming from a Cincinnati office was a lie. These documents now confirm it. 
and it's confirmed because Lois Lerner, we now know, was lying when she said that, just like Benghazi saying it was a video. The third thing that we learned is that a United States senator was using his power to push the most feared arm of the federal government to persecute conservative organizations well, Brett, you know, like you, America's you know Prosperity. You know what Carl like Levin uh, says about this. Carl Levin's office says, look, he was concerned that these groups were using their political uh, abilities to sway people, and they're not allowed to, to do politics, essentially. So he wanted them checked out. They also claim that he also investigated liberal groups, even though it was one, I think, compared to 11, right? Right. Well, well, yeah, but yeah, he, they, they say that, but it's a litany of conservative groups we're talking about. And what's the IRS going to do when a senior member of the United States Senate says, I want this done, as if the IRS was the personal fiefdom of Carl Levin? But this is what happens when it's a government out of control. And we have a government out of control. Okay, so you've got those three major developments. So the fourth development was that the media thought there was no interest in this. ABC, NBC, CBS, not one second has been devoted to this. And to put that in his proper perspective, they were spending 20 minutes talking about Karl Rove and Hillary Clinton, but zero seconds on these three stories. Brent, thank you very much. Something to think about. Good to see you thank tonight. You.